Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How's It Out. It's Friday night which means it's alcohol free beer night and the beer we're going for tonight is uh, first in the series of three moose related beers. It's from Fierce and Mash Gang. It's this one. It is very small moose and the can artwork is amazing. Just look at that. You've got a, a cybernetic moose and you've got a pistol of fart rat at the bottom in his battle jacket and uh, it looks amazing. So uh, this one is a 0.5% alcohol free uh, chocolate and vanilla imperial stout. Imperial stout on something at 0.5% ABV. That's an interesting concept, I must say. Anyway, it says on the back of the can, uh, very small moose. We've teamed up with Mash Gang to turn our very big moose very small. Low ABV, but still packed with all those luxurious chocolate and vanilla notes that you crave. So, that's the very small one. And... Uh, this one for Sunday night, it's a very big one. This is the 14% big brother uh, of very small moose. Somewhere in between on Saturday, we're gonna do the uh, the coconut moose. Uh, but tonight is all about the alcohol free and just see how good it is. So without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. I've made a mistake already, I think. I'm wearing white. It's a hot day, I got white. White three quarter length shorts on, white t-shirt and a dark stout. Anyway, the pour is dark as expected. I'm not gonna fill the glass. Just that will do. That pours with confidence and conviction. You've got a nice dark beer that is not letting anything through at all. Um, Holding it up to strong LED lights, there's nothing. That's your beer in a glass. You've got a nice tan head. And you've got, look at the body. Look at how it's rolling and then just pretty much stopping. That implies it's got a good body to it. So, let's have a whiff. It smells nice. I am getting chocolate. I'm getting roasted malt. I'm getting a bit of sweetness. But up front, I'm getting oodles of chocolate. That bodes well. Obviously being 0.5% ABV, I'm not getting any booze and that's entirely fine. It's alcohol free, but I am getting the key things that I otherwise look for in an impy stout, namely chocolate, malt and the adjuncts, which in this case is vanilla. Bringing that beautiful sweetness to the back end of that nose. Chocolate, then the malt, then the vanilla. I like it. It works. So it looks good. It looks really good. I can't get over that roll or lack of like that. And it smells great. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. It tastes like it should. It tastes of chocolate. It tastes of roasted malt. A little bit of coffee. And behind that comes a vanilla. And then the vanilla goes and we're back to the malts and the coffee. Nice. The body's about medium weight. Mouthfeel is clean. It's light. Carbonation is good. It's it's where I want it to be for a stout. You know, I don't want any more than this. I certainly don't want it to be fizzy. This is not fizzy in any way, shape or form. It's comfortable in the mouth. I'm liking the slight bitterness on the back end of the very small mousse. It kind of fights with the, the malts and the adjuncts. It's like having cacao nibs in your mouth. If you if you ever sat and chewed on cacao nibs, um, much like I do with coffee beans as well, you'll, you'll know what I mean, that kind of bitterness off the back of it. It works really, really well. It is tasty, very, very tasty. They're very tasty. It delivers. Mm. So, we're going to give it some points in a minute, but before we do, we're going to go to the untapped scoreboard of Joy, which says that there have been 110 check-ins. Three people I know have had it. 3.54 across the board. 4.58 for the people I know who've had it. I know which ones I agree with. 
my scoreboard of joy is currently void of anything apart from the re regular bits. So we're going to go and give it some points, starting with the looks. It's a good looking beer and we're going to remind you of that now. Just watch that. Watch that head. Look at it kind of roll up and just grow and sit there looking very pretty indeed. It's a beautiful looking beer. Dark in all the right places, light and airy in the other places. The head looks beautiful. You know what I'm giving it. It's getting a point. Give me a bit of chalk. First one off the board. The aroma, chocolate, vanilla, roasted malts. Coffee was definitely present in the mouth. And it is there on the nose. I missed it first time round. And I know obviously sense of taste and smell are very much interlinked now. I've had it in the mouth. Maybe it's obviously activated properly. But yeah, the chocolate is a slightly darker chocolate. It's more of a, a cacao nib as opposed to a milky chocolate. Um, it's medium strength. It works. It delivers on all its promises. Therefore, it's getting a point. The body for a stout, for an alcohol-free stout at that, is good. It is good. It's medium weight, and it's really difficult, I find, certainly across all the alcohol-free stouts that I've tried, to get a massive heavy body on it, like you would on an Imperial Stout of the very big moose that we're going to have on Sunday. That is bound to have a big body, because the Imperial Stouts of that kind of nature tend to. The alcohol itself is quite cloying, quite heavy. This one, it's surprisingly good for 0.5% ABV. I've had Stouts in the 5, 6, 7% mark that have been lighter bodied than that. And uh, yeah, this one really does kind of lift the bar a little bit for your alcohol-free stouts. The few that I've had have been lightweight and thin. The only one that is similar to this is the Guinness alcohol-free. Um, and that's got a nitro delivery system. So it's got that impression of body as well uh, from the creamy head that you have. So yeah, this one is doffing the cap to uh, the boys and girls at Mash Gang and Fierce for getting something this good. So yeah, I can't fault it. It works perfectly well. It's going to get a point. Taste, I really like. This is the bit that, for me, has to deliver on a big Imperial Stout. And this is a small Imperial Stout. So it delivers on the small to a point where you'd say, yeah, barring the booze, of which there is only half a percent, uh, this one delivers on the same kind of level as a bigger hitting 5, 6, 7% Stout in terms of the flavour strength and the complexity of it. Big chocolate in the kind of natural cacao type sort of ballpark. It's not your milky sweet chocolate. It's certainly not your kind of, your lint 80%. It's that natural cacao with that bitterness and that coffee-like nature going through it with a little bit of vanilla just to balance it all out and keep it on the even keel. I like it a lot. I'm talking a lot about it. So therefore, yeah, just getting a point. And the finish. On a stout of the imperial nature, I like bitterness on the back end. This one though has chocolate and vanilla, so I expect and therefore demand a bit of sweetness. This one is balanced. You've got a little bit of bitterness that comes off that chocolate and it's kind of tempered by a bit of that vanilla and it kind of goes cyclical from there. Sweet, bitter, sweet, bitter. It's, it's different. I like it. Mmm. I do. You know what it's getting. It's getting a point. So it's got five out of five. Value for money. Now this is where I have to be open, honest, and frank with you all. Uh, Alex at Mash Gang sent me this one to try. So thank you very much, Alex, for that. Um, I remember it being good value for money though, and I would happily pay four or five quid a can for something this good. Uh, I'm pretty sure it came in less than that, three pounds something. If memory serves, correct me if I'm wrong, boys and girls. Um, but yeah, if it's around that part, absolutely it's great value for money. Buy it again. If I see it out there in the wild, I will be buying it. Absolutely. Bonus points. Bonus points were invented, as I'm sure you've heard by now, for a Mash Gang beer. And this one deserves one because there are so few really good alcohol-free stouts out there. Um, most of them are kind of thin, insipid, and lacking in just about every department because it's quite a hard style to replicate, from what I understand, in alcohol-free. This one, though, it delivers on all its promises. The flavours, first of all, it's it's great. It's, it's getting a bonus point. So it's got 
a full sweep of everything across the board, including all three bonus points. And there we go. So it bodes well. The very small moose has got a full sweep of points. Tomorrow night we go for the coconut moose. Sunday night we go for the very big moose. And we, we, well, they are all very different things. Excuse me. I'm sure they'll all be amazing. So, boys and girls at Mash Gang and Fierce, please, please, please do some more very small moose. It's very tasty indeed. Uh, it's certainly not small. It's punching well above its ABV weight. So there we go. There we are. I'm going to stop waffling, enjoy the rest of beer, upload the video for your viewing pleasure and say, that has been the beer, I've been me, those down there are the buttons, you know exactly what to do with them by now, you've got the like, comment, dislike and subscribe, choose any combination of them as you wish, and I'll see you again tomorrow for Coconut Moose, bye.